Top 7 BST 1440p GPU in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. GeForce RTX 3060 Ti When we tested the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, we felt it might be the best of the bunch for NVIDIA's Ampere GPU. It has all the same features as the other 30 series GPU, with a starting price of just $399. In theory, of course, as it naturally sold out just as quickly as all the other new graphics cards. Currently, the lowest price we can find is this MSI RTX 3060 Ti Ventus opens a new tab for $590, which is still nearly 50% more than the nominal MSRP. The 3060 Ti beat the previous Gen 2080 Super in our testing, winning in every game we ran. It's also only about 9% slower than the RTX 3070, but costs 20% less. If you're still sitting on an older GTX 1070 or RX Vega 56, the 3060 Ti is up to twice as fast, sometimes even more, in the latest games. The only real concern is the lack of VRAM. 8GB is mostly enough, for now, but some games are starting to push beyond that threshold. Of course, you can drop the texture quality a notch, and you might not even notice the difference. But deep down inside, you'll feel regret. Not really high settings often look indistinguishable from ultra settings. Number 6. Radeon RX 6600 XD AMD answer to the RTX 3060, sort of, comes via the Navi 23 architecture. Normally, we'd expect a 32CU variant of Navi 22, dubbed the RX 6700 non-XD. But AMD trim CU counts, memory interface width, and infinity cache sizes to get a smaller and less expensive chip that still performs well. Performance ends up slightly above the previous Gen RX 5700 XD, which is impressive considering the memory bus has been cut in half to just 128 bits. There's a reasonable concern with the 8GB of VRAM, however, and there are certainly cases where the RTX 3060 ends up as the better choice. Still, it's surprising how much even a 32 MB Infinity cache seems to boost performance when you look at the memory bandwidth. This is basically a chip that's smaller than Navi 10, built on the same TSMC N7 node, and it delivers 10, 15% better frame rates at 1000 ADIP. There are instances where it struggles, however, ray tracing being a big one. Several games that we tested with DXR DirectX ray tracing support couldn't even do 20 FPS at 1000 ADIP. NVIDIA's RTX 3060 was about twice as fast. Without using DLSS, where available, FSR doesn't really fix that. Either, since it provides a similar boost in performance to both AMD and NVIDIA and even Intel GPU, after delivering impressive amounts of VRAM on the other big Navi chips, the RX 6600 XD feels like a letdown. Number 5. GeForce RTX 3060 as we approach the lowest end of the price and performance ladder with NVIDIA's desktop Ampere lineup, the cuts to processing power may have gone too far. This is the first GA on 106 card with a 192-bit memory interface and 12GB VRAM, which is quite a bit better than the RTX 3050 but still a big step down from GA on 104, with 26% fewer GPU cores compared to the 3060 Ti, and less memory bandwidth. Overall performance is only on the level of the RTX 2070. So, two and a half years later, you can now match a $500 graphics card with a $330 alternative. Or that's the theory. Demand still surpasses supply. But at least we're now seeing RTX 3060 starting at $390. Opens a new tab. That card shows as backordered with an ETA of several days ago. But we've seen the RTX 3060 go in and out of stock for $400 or less over the past couple of weeks. Given the performance we saw in our testing, the RTX 3060 is the overall value, factoring in ray tracing and DLSS performance. Number 4. Radeon RX 6700 XD Start with the Navi 21 GPU and then cut down the various functional units to create a smaller dive 
that can sell at lower prices, and you have AMD Navi 22 and the RX 6700 XT. It has the same number of GPU cores as the previous generation RX 5700 XT, but significantly higher clock speeds and more cache give it about a 25% boost to performance at higher settings and resolutions, at least. When we tested AMD RX 6700 XT, it hit clock speeds in excess of 2.5 GHz during gaming sessions, and that's at stock, on the reference card. With some tuning and overclocking, we were able to hit speeds of 2.7, 2.8 GHz, still without cooking the GPU. That's very impressive, and factory overclocked cards can push even higher clocks. In our performance testing, the RX 6700 XT traded blows with the RTX 3070 and RTX 3060 tie. It's a bit faster than the latter and a bit slower than the former, so the launch price of $479 is reasonable. Still, if we include pretty much any games with DLSS or ray tracing, the 6700 XT comes in behind the 3060 tie and almost looks like a 3060 competitor. Number 3. GeForce RTX 3090 Ti For some, the best card is the fastest card pricing be damned. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3090 Ti caters to this category of user, and nearly tripled the official price of the RTX 3080. Performance is only moderately better, 20-30% in most workloads. It's also only 5-10% faster than the previous RTX 3090, with an even higher MSRP. But looking at online prices, the 3090 Ti may only cost a couple hundred more than a 3090. And who are we kidding? Anyone seriously considering either of these probably doesn't need to worry about a few Benjamins. The RTX 3090 Ti will reign as NVIDIA's top GPU until the next generation Ada Lovelace GPU arrive. It sports a complete GA102 chip with 84SM, so there's no room or time for a new Titan card. NVIDIA has said as much as well that the 3090 Ti brings Titan class performance and features, specifically the 24 GB VRAM into the GeForce brand. If you simply must have the fastest graphics card available, the RTX 3090 Ti isn't likely to be surpassed until this fall. It's not just about gaming, of course. The RTX 3090 Ti is NVLink support, which is arguably more useful for professional apps and GPU compute than SLI. The 24GB of GDDR6X memory is also helpful in a variety of content creation applications. Blender, for example, frequently showed 35% higher performance compared to the 3080 and over twice the performance of the Titan RTX. Just watch out for lower than expected performance in some of the SPEC viewer apps, where Titan RTX has additional features turned on in its drivers that aren't enabled for GeForce cards. You'll need the even more expensive NVIDIA RTX A6000 for the full professional driver suite. Number 2. Radeon RX 6800 XT AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT is the best card for Team Red. In our testing, the RX Radeon 6900 XT is technically about 5-7% faster, but it theoretically costs 54% more. That's not a great deal especially since you don't get more VRAM or any other extras. Do pay attention to the current online prices, however, as the 6900 only costs about $100 extra and might be worth the spend right now. The RX 6800 XT provides a massive boost in performance and features relative to the previous generation RX 5700 XT. It adds ray tracing support via direct X ray tracing or Vulcan RT, and is 70-90% faster across our test suite. The Navi 21 GPU was affectionately dubbed Big Navi prior to launch by the enthusiast community, and we got exactly what we wanted. It's over twice the size of the previous generation Navi 10, with twice the shader cores and twice the RAM. Clock speeds are also boosted into the 2.1-2.3 GHz range, depending on the card model, the highest clocks we've ever seen from a reference GPU by about 300 MHz. And AMD did all this without substantially increasing power requirements. The RX 6800 XT has a 300 WTBP, slightly lower than the RTX 3080's 320 WTBP. Number 1. GeForce RTX 3080 NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 sports NVIDIA's latest Ampere architecture. It's over 30% faster than the previous Gen 2080 tie 
and supposedly cost $500 less. When we tested the new RTX 3080 Ti, it didn't manage to supplant the incumbent, thanks to its significantly higher pricing. However, do keep an eye out for the RTX 3080 12GB cards, which at present seem to carry about a $50 price premium, a premium well worth paying in our book. If you're serious about maxing out all the graphics settings and you want to play 4K or 1404 type, this is the card to get. It's mostly overkill for 1000A type gaming unless you're running the latest ray tracing games, in which case DLSS support should also help performance. If you skip the first round of RTX GPU, the RTX 30 series might finally get you you on board the ray tracing train, with potentially double the ray tracing performance of Turing, and games like Cyberpunk 2077 using even more ray tracing effects. The RTX 3080 is your best. Bet at playing games in all their ray trace glory without nuking the piggy bank. Ampere also brings improved tensor cores for DLSS, a technology we're bound to see more of in future games now that it doesn't require per game training by supercomputer. We're seeing a lot more games with DLSS 2.0 these days, helped by the fact that it's basically a toggle and UI update to get it working in Unreal Engine and Unity. NVIDIA's RT and DLSS performance are also quite a bit faster than what you get from AMD new RX 6000 cards, which is a good thing as NVIDIA sometimes falls behind in traditional rasterization performance. So guys, that's all for the top 7 BST 1440p GPU in 2022. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video. Till then, take care. Bye.